As the Messiah of Israel ministry team was praying, the Holy Spirit guided them to an Aliyah center, which is a place where new migrants meet. After many were coming out of the center, Messianic Rabbi Zeb Porat felt led to approach a man named Roman, who made Aliyah, which is immigration to Israel, from Moscow, Russia. Shalom, greeted Zev. How are you adjusting to Israel? Roman said, It's not easy for me here. I have a wife and three children. Zev replied, When did you make Aliyah? Roman said, May 2015. I came because I want to be with Jews together. Zev explained that Israel is the place for him. God has a plan for him and his family to bless them. Roman was very interested and said, Yes, I believe so, but... When I was in Moscow, I read a lot of rabbinic books. I'm finally in Israel. So yes, I'm in agreement with you. God wants to bless me. But Roman explained to Zev that he was in a hurry to go to the Mount Meron to visit the tomb of Rabbi Shimon bar Yochai. He told Zev, It is said that there is a big blessing there and I want God to bless me and my family. At that moment, the Holy Spirit told Zev, Do not let him go. Zev then told Roman he understood he was in a hurry, but he had one question. Have you ever heard of Rabbi Yitzhak Kaduri? Yes, said Roman. For years I tried to make al Aliyah and really wanted to meet Kaduri for the blessing. He was the greatest rabbi of all time. Unfortunately, I missed this blessing because he died. Zev said, The blessings we receive are from God, not from man. Roman was stunned for a little while. Zev told Roman that Rabbi Kaduri left a note with the biggest blessing through God ever given to mankind. Roman was fascinated and asked about Kaduri's revelation. It was time to pull out the evangelistic book, The Rabbi Who Found Messiah. When Roman saw the picture of Kaduri on the front cover, he was excited. Praise Yeshua. Roman forgot about being in a hurry to go to Mount Meron. The Holy Spirit was at work. It was clear that this was a divine appointment. Messianic Rabbi Zev Porat and Roman sat down for hours reading many passages about the life of Kaduri. Finally, Roman asked, where is the blessing? Zev opened the page that explains how to decode the note that Kaduri left revealing the identity of the Messiah. When Roman read the note that shows Yeshua is the Messiah, he was in total shock. He asked, how can this be? How can this be? When I grew up in Moscow, I was always told and believed this is not for the Jews. Zev said, Kaduri was the biggest rabbi according to your testimony. Yes, replied Roman. So you have answered yourself. Yeshua is the Messiah. It's the most Jewish message ever. Roman said, Where does it say this in the Bible? Praise Yeshua. Roman was asking for the written word of God. Zev then opened the Hebrew and Russian Bible to Psalm 89 verses 3 to 4. I have made a covenant with my chosen, I have sworn to my servant David, your seed I will establish forever and build up your throne to all generations. Zev explained that it is about Messiah Yeshua. Roman was thirsty and asked to show him more in the Bible. It was amazing. The hunger for truth was upon this Aliyah Jew. Zev then read Deuteronomy 18 verse 15 which says, The Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet like me from your midst, from your brethren. You shall listen to him. After reading this, Zev asked how he can receive the blessing. Zev said, The blessing is eternal life with Yeshua who is the Messiah, God, forever. It was time to share the full gospel of salvation available by repentance, by faith and trust only through Messiah Yeshua. Zev and Roman read many Bible passages such as Isaiah 7 verse 14, Isaiah 53, Daniel 7 13 and so on. By the Holy Spirit working on him, Roman felt he was a sinner and in desperate need of a savior. He immediately repented and asked God to forgive his sins. And then he asked Zev to pray for him. He called on the name of Yeshua as the Lord and his personal savior. Hallelujah. Roman now is a believer in Yeshua. What is even more amazing is that Roman said he feels different for the first time in his life, that he has found the true happiness. He no longer needs to search for rabbis and rabbinic books anymore. Ronan says that many Jews must know this truth, and he is going to share this good news with his wife, family, and friends. Roman will be joining one of the discipleship programs. This was an end-time supernatural event. 
Once again, the revelation of Kaduri led another Jew to the written word of God and salvation. For this we give all the glory to the King of Kings, Lord of Lords, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, Yeshua the Messiah. Amen.